Okay, okay, okay. How are you doing today? My name is Jose from jvcreationstudio.com. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. How are you doing today? Say something in the chat. Uh, I'm going to be checking a couple of tricks, uh, especially for lead guitar. And that this technique is been helping me for a long time. Let me know if you are there in the chat. If you are here live, say something in the chat. So I'm using my Telecaster. I'm using uh, just gonna be using one pedal, the Super Bar as MXR. This is how it's sounding. <laughs> And I'm gonna be using my line pod over here. Uh, line six. <laughs> it's another one you can buy a use on eBay, it's cheaper, and it sounds good. There's new models. This is the older one, but it sounds good. I'm just using for a clean amp. And then I'm using my super bar a distortion to get the distortion. <laughs> I'm gonna be on E major and I'm gonna be checking uh, three, uh, four technique. So I'm gonna be doing E major pentatonic. I'm gonna be doing E because the example I'm gonna be playing is in E. So I'm gonna be doing E. F sharp, G sharp, B, uh, C sharp, E, and then again F sharp, G sharp, and B. And that's in the position on the frets number seven, and then four. So it's gonna be like four position. Just go up and down and practice, then go. And then I'm gonna be going to the fret number 12 and I'm gonna go up. Same pentatonic, E pentatonic. See? Are the same note. But now it's starting in E. See? Or here. And then. So I usually go down this way and go up this way. I can go back and I'm gonna play uh, one of the songs that I did get happy one of my own songs so I don't have copyright problem and I'm gonna do a couple of examples here with the, the pentatonic first this is gonna help you when you are recording because then you have more ideas and you're not stuck with just uh, once playing the same or same all the time. This is the technique that has been helping me. So there you have this that one idea. Let's use another one and say something in the chat if you're here live. Uh, the next one will be, I like to use a uh, three finger 
uh, first uh, no uh, first first string. So, for example. Gonna do now E major, not pentatonic, E major scale. E, F sharp, E sharp, B, eh, no, A, B, C sharp, uh, D sharp, and then E. So I'm using three finger. Let me use the distortion. So little by little you're combining all of those pentatonic major scale. So let's do that. Let's combine those two pentatonic and then major scale. Let me get it here to play. So yeah, just use uh, more the light melodic, but I was using pentatonic first, and then I use a three uh, finger per uh, string. Doing that. Uh, the next step is using just two finger on the scale. So I'm gonna use the same uh, pattern of the scale but just going by two finger like this. Then repeating. See, I'm using these two finger all the time with those notes. Pretty cool, <laughs> fun stuff. And gonna play the song, gonna use pentatonic, I'm gonna use three a finger per string, and then I'm gonna use the technique of two. Let's see how this sounds. Pretty fun, and the last one I like to do this one a lot is using uh, uh, patterns, you know, uh, or a team. Let's see, let's get a, a basic thing. Oh, let's do this one. Now I'm going to be using string one and two. So that is like a thing or a motif that you can with the scale of E major. So in E major, you have E, F is sharp, G is sharp, A is normal, then a B is normal, and then C is sharp, D should be D sharp, and then E. And then uh, you have the scale, E major scale, but uh, when, once I got that 
melody or motive or theme, I try to use it in all the body. Just practicing, you can know, is maybe you're not gonna do it in a solo, but this is gonna give you more knowledge of the guitar. <laughs> I messed up here for reading the chat. That's nice, what's up, man? Yeah, keep the chat going. I'm gonna come in the chat in a moment. So, uh, let me put the distortion. So that's the idea. So let's put her in the song. Let's see how it sounds. You keep practicing like that, you're gonna get better. Pretty good, isn't it? So let's get another uh, motive. Let's get. Let's do. Let's do two two finger, and let's do um, one string. Oh, the, I like this one. I'm gonna use an open string. And then I'm just gonna be using the scale going uh you know up or down okay let's do this one well maybe that's too complex let's use that one and let's see how it goes See, maybe you're not gonna do that in a solo, but you're getting more like confident, like where are the notes, where are, if I get that theme, can I keep it up, moving up, up and down? Uh, yeah, I do remember Frasati. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Keep it up in the chat. So, uh, let's get now uh, the two string. Let's do. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do something like that. And let's do it in the whole body. Remember, we are in the key of E, so remember who is sharp and who is not. So let's play the music and let's keep this rocking.
that way when you practice man you're not gonna get bored because then you're gonna be building up on that up on that up on that so when i'm playing or practicing i try to put a song and i try to like get to know more my instrument can i push this far can i go here and then go to go back and because then when you are improvising you have more to to do so let's combine all that we have all that we did so far we did pentatonic we did major scale with three fingers then we did major scale with only two finger then we came with a theme or a motif and then copy that over the body one string two string and let's get it rocking with this i'm gonna be closing oh thank you for all those like and all those coming ready ready means a lot so here we go we can do that let me know let me put the guitar a little bit more here you go more use in the guitar <laughs> So please, I ha I hope that you have been enjoying this uh, episode of today. That is my first time trying to teach some guitar uh, lesson because all the time I've been teaching you audio stuff. But I'm gonna try to put more uh, teaching about how to get more of your instrument to grow more because this is what i started out and this is what for me was so fun like i see now kids like getting like hard time to practice because they see practicing like bad like that like is a punishment if you find a way to get it like it's fun that you love it like you can you get more in depth can you discover more uh, I and then put the music like I did so you are not like just like practicing like and like oh that's so boring but with music you feel that it's like it's a life I can make something out of this so <laughs> 
Okay, I hope that this was helpful. So we did a lot. We did pentatonic in one position and then in another position, same note. We did three fingers. We did two fingers. If you have to go back in the video, uh, go ahead. And we did uh, uh, the theme. If you get a motif, a theme, or a pattern, can you copy that over different position? And then combine all of those and have fun with this. Let me see a couple of chat. Let me see. Oh, thank you. I'm just trying to help you out, guys. <laughs> Jamming hard, man. Yeah. Okay, so let me close this out. Close the <laughs> guitar. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna come with more. And yeah, a share, support, do the like, uh, and thank you so much. Check all the content I have so far in the channel. I've been putting out a lot for the last three years. Now it's been three years, I cannot believe it. So there's more coming, so yeah. Hit the bell, so when the next one coming, you are the first one to get notified. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's gonna be awesome this year. So, yeah, let me play this uh, as an outro. Thank you guys. <laughs>